Have you ever felt that you have no options in life or that your future is predetermined? Have you ever felt you took the wrong path and could never get off? Well, let us challenge your paradigm with the upcoming film festival, Options in Life. If you're a well-versed film lover, a curious enthusiast or love the potential of conflicting ideas, then make sure to keep your schedule free for this. During the festival, we'll be exploring the multifaceted definition and hidden treasures of options in life, where we'll get to know different angles and approaches that directors have chosen to contextualise and enrich this subject. We've curated lists of movies which are ideal for all kinds of audiences to engage in the discussion on how options in life are demonstrated and uniquely held up for analysis by each individual film. The films have been arranged into subgroups to reflect on a specific angle or similar storyline. Let's delve in. You might know the feeling when you ask yourself, what if? What if, for example, I had not met this person? How different would my life be today? Would I be happier? Would I be more successful? Would I be with the same partner? These questions are completely normal and justified, yet difficult to answer, as there is no real answer. There's no way of knowing exactly how life will turn out, or could have turned out, if. The potential of if is why we're bringing the film festival to you. Using the medium of film to grapple with optionality, with the unknown and the feel of possibility. Film allows us to discover such stories in a visual way, making it often easier to grasp. Especially the edit of these movies allows the audience to easily follow multiple and sometimes parallel storylines. You have choice. You can choose to challenge and expand your perception of choice. You come to the festival to watch films like Sliding Doors, Les Double Vies de Véronique or Blind Chance, which all embody these exact ideas where the audience can explore alternate storylines that each show different ways of how the protagonist's life could have unfolded depending on the different outcomes of one specific event. What could or will happen if you miss the subway? Take a random picture of your surroundings? Or run into a stranger? All these small moments which you might encounter on a daily basis yourself have the potential to change your life without you actively realising it. I believe these movies will encourage you to more concretely think about the meaning behind the options in life and are such an essential and compelling building blocks of the overall festival programme. Another subtopic the programme is based upon is the clash between ethics and morals. Although it's generally believed to be positive to have options in life, they can often be difficult to face and even harder to decide between, bearing the question whether it's not sometimes easier to accept dictation and abdicate responsibility. The film's heaven and the secret in their eyes depict perfectly how people may battle with decision-making and favour their own morals over social ethics. The film Heaven witnesses a moral dilemma where, where you will be challenged to either agree with the protagonist's moral decision, believing in their rightness of action, or tend to more strongly associate with the ethical wrongness of their actions. I'm sure there'll be mixed opinions. These choices are yours. In the film The Secret in Their Eyes, the audience will also be challenged by a similar question as to what one considers true justice. These movies are crucial for the overall completeness of the programme since they effectively showcase the more complex sides of having options in life. Furthermore, we want to raise awareness of the importance and necessity of making choice in life that follow from having options. Options in life lead to choices having to be made. Even deciding not to choose is an option. Mr Nobody, Sophie's Choice and Melinda and Melinda. Optionality is certainly not always an easy answer. Especially the sci-fi film Mr Nobody strongly proves this point by introducing a character who asks exactly this. What if I just do not choose? You'll get to know the multiple personas which the protagonist makes up in his mind, showcasing the outcomes of the different options. Due to the distorted personas, it becomes clear that the director through this wants to illustrate the ultimate importance of decision making. In Sophie's choice, there are life-determining and traumatic decisions she's confronted with, determining the fate of her children and thus her own. This movie, although in a strongly tragic manner, showcases well the absolute need to make choices, whether these turn out to be good or bad. This film also highlights that options do not always offer a good solution. The choices between the lesser of two evils is still evil. The price for refusing to choose even higher. One cannot help but ask oneself, what would I have done? The last movie of this group is Melinda and Melinda, a truly unique story that demonstrates how the meaning and plot of a script can strongly vary depending on which genre it's considered to be. You as the audience can view it as a comedy or tragedy. The options and choices are yours. It especially highlights how we have the option of perspective when living our life, how personal perception can change everything. Is the glass half full or half empty? Can we see the fun aspects or paint it tragically? All of these films, although different, illustrate the pop array of options and thus choices in life and contribute colour, depth and complexity to the festival. 
On a more uplifting note, we'll finally showcase three movies which could all be put in the box when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Billy Elliot, Peaceful Warrior and The Untouchables all introduce male characters who are confronted with immense hurdles, whether these are sexist constraints, injuries or a socially difficult background. They appear to have few options in life and nevertheless they all manage to choose the path to become the best version of themselves. They choose diligence and authenticity, creativity and humour and with courage actively decide to pursue and realise their dreams. This last subtopic of options in life, even though more uplifting, has an equally important role to play. It appeals to you, the audience, to understand the value of recognising all options in life and finding a way to make the best choice that count. No options in life has a different name. That's the afterlife. Which options would you prefer? Come to the festival, look at the options and make your choice. We look forward to sharing these film classics with you.